this one ought to do. Uh, what are you doing, Cyril? I'm picking out logs to carry back and chop into firewood. You can't expect to carry all these by yourself. Let me help. No, I got it. I don't want you getting hurt. Logs are heavy sometimes. I'm well aware. You should accept the help being offered. I'm older and wiser. I know best. Um, Lysithia, you seem a bit shaky. You okay? Yep, totally fine. I'm just kind of losing my grip on this log. Duh! Well, that wasn't much help as it turned out. I didn't realize they'd be that heavy. I couldn't even walk in a straight line. I told you, logs are heavy sometimes. It's hard work if you're not used to it. I feel foolish. Well, if you've learned your lesson, I'm gonna go carry the other locks. Hang on. Shouldn't you rest for a bit? Wood still needs chopping. I got a bunch of other stuff needs doing before sundown, too. In that case, let me help you carry the chopped wood. You know how rough firewood is? You'll get splinters if you carry it with your soft hands. <sighs> you can't be serious. You're just not cut out for this kind of work. Look at your hands. They're like a princess's. No point in you learning to chop wood, is there? You don't need to know how to do that stuff. You and me live in different worlds. There's no point lowering yourself down into mine. Our worlds aren't so different. We're together right now, aren't we? Sure, we live in the same places now, but that's not gonna last forever. Don't see how it could. Unless I actually turned into your little brother or something. <sighs> hey, Cyril! Cyril? Hmm, what is he staring at? I see... Hey, what are you looking at there? Anything interesting? Let me have a look. Three apples, two bags of ointment, one piece of graphite. Intriguing. Some sort of code, perhaps? Nah, I was just asked to go out and buy the stuff on this list. Oh, that's all? Sorry for interrupting in that case. This is kind of a one-person job, so I won't bother you by offering aid. Oh, you actually helped a lot just now, reading that list for me like you did. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't tell anybody, because I've been trying to keep it a secret, but... I don't know how to read, so I wasn't sure what to do with the list. Is that so? Why do you keep it a secret? I'd hate it if people figured I wasn't up to a job just because I couldn't read. You're always welcome to call on me for help. I'd be happy to. Thanks. I will. I really mean that. Anything you need. Okay. Good. Now, you better go get those supplies before it gets dark. Do you remember everything on the list? Need me to read it one more time for you? That would be pretty helpful, actually. All right, listen up. I'm not gonna do this a third time. Lysithia's not a good liar, is she? She knew I was in trouble right away. Hang on, did she just wanna act like a big sister again? But she looked real happy when she was helping me. And I think I'd like to see that smile again sometime. Hey, Lysithia. I'm glad I found you. What's up, Cyril? Could you read something for me again? Looks like it's another shopping list. I'm happy to help you out. Did you try looking it over yourself yet? What's the use? I told you I can't read. Have a look here. Any of these letters look familiar? Huh? This one? Was that... apples? So it says, three apples? Yes, you got it! See? You can do it! I wonder if there's anything else I can recognize. Let's see... It's clear you've got a sharp memory. If you apply yourself, you'll be reading in no time. Reading is such an important skill. Once you learn, you won't forget. And I won't be around to read things for you forever. Lysithia? Anyway, don't you enjoy learning? 
it seems like you haven't even thought of trying prior to this. Do you simply not have time for it? Until now, I never thought about how to learn. And since I was hiding it, I never asked anybody. But right now, I feel like I'd be happy to live like this for a little bit longer. It seems like a hassle at this point not to learn, so you may as well start putting in the work. Well, I like having you read things to me. You do? Yeah. You always seem happy when I ask you to read things. And when you're happy, you smile. I think you're pretty when you smile. I bet you everyone tells you that though, huh? As a matter of fact, they haven't. Stop messing with me. Hang on a second. Am I the only one who's seen you make that face? Is that why nobody's told you? Excuse you? I mean, honestly. Okay, well, I'm gonna go take care of this errand for the professor. I'll see you later, Lysithia. Don't expect me to read for you again. And, uh, just take care of yourself, will you? I did it! I did it! Okay, so next up is... What's this letter all about? Doesn't appear to have a sender written anywhere. This handwriting is so sloppy. Wow. Dear Lysithia, I read the book you gave me. This must be from Cyril! He's learning so quickly! It was hard, and it got more easy, more I tried it, and it was fun, and I learned new stuff. That's the spirit! Thanks, you, for helping me to read and to write. You are so welcome. Some things are hard to say and easy to write. I know just what you mean. I want to read more and learn writing better. You're already doing so well with this. I can see how hard you're working. I am glad you are my friend. It makes me bappy. Aww. Hey, Lysithia. Last night I finished reading the book you lent me. I wanted to tell you right away, but it was late, so... I tried to write a letter. Um, Lysithia? Cyril, you sweet little... Did I do something wrong? I don't know what you're trying to say. Some feelings can't be verbalized or put into writing. Just... Look, it's just that... I... I'm sorry. I really don't know what you're trying to say. What I'm trying to say is... I'm Bappy too. But... Bappy? Let's keep studying and spending time together, okay? Oh, I get you now. That sounds great, Lysithia.